Holy Wiremod here. This is going to be tutorial 17 in the Expression 2 series where we're going to be going over switch casing. And this is very similar to if, else, and else if, with the exception of the performance being a little bit better. So this is not found in the wiki. So how you do this is you say switch and then you have parentheses and then you'll have some variable that you're analyzing. So we'll say x and that's going to be some integer x, right? So we're going to have case 1 or case 0 and that's to say when this x is equal to a value 0 then we're going to do the following commands so we can say print x is 0 and then we go to break so that's the basic format right here so it says x is 0 alright so if we were to actually initialize this so we'd say if first duped and we'll say x is equal to 1. So now we'll set up another case, case number 1, x is equal to 1. See, now it says x is equal to 1 in the chat. Now, we don't have to use strings here. In fact, as in the last two tutorials or two tutorials ago, I made an example similar to this with if statements. So instead, we're going to say x plus plus, and we'll do that for this as well. And for this last one, we're going to set x equals 0. And that's to kind of set a loop here so we can see what's going on. So we're going to replace this with interval 10. And now we get a screen and wired up. And you'll see that it's going 0, 1, 2, three, uh, one, two 3 over and over again. And we have about 39 ops. Now, I said this is similar to if, else, and else if, and it is. So if I were to take this and convert it, it would look something like this, which should look familiar if you watched the uh, 16a tutorial. All right, so we go here and let's do two more times just to show you. So we go one, two, and three. This one is equal to zero. And let's get rid of this. And as you can see, it does the exact same thing, except the ops are now higher at a 53 instead of a 39. So as you get more cases in here, or more else if statements in the other case, you can see that there's quite a large gap in performance. So I do recommend, if you're choosing between the two, to pick the switch. And as you saw, this x is not just limited to number. This could also be a string, for example, so we can say you know, x is a string. If the case is saying, if it's a, then we'll set x equal b. Something like that. And let's just repeat that a couple times. Oh, all right. So we have b. And when it's b, whoops, that's d. a's and your b's and your d's and your c's and your d's and d. And we'll set it back to a. So this is going to cycle from a to d. However, I must first set up the initial condition, so bring this guy back real quick, that x is equal to a. All right, so now if we set up an actual screen, it's not going to show up on here. So we have to bring text screen, and we'll wire string right here. And now it's saying ABCD really, really, really fast. If I were to slow down the interval command, to every half second. Now it's going A, B, C, D. All right, so that's pretty much how switch case works. You don't have to put strings here, uh, numbers. You can put vec2, vectors, and all kinds of data types here. So it's fun to just play around. But as you can see, there's a huge performance issue so, um, when dealing with else if, so I do recommend switch case. But if you have any more questions on that, feel free to put some in the comments below. I hope this helped you, and I'll see you guys next time.